ever wonder what the world would be like without procrastination? If, if, if procrastination didn't exist, what would, it, what, would, what would it be like? Things would get done. I'd get a lot of stuff done. I don't get a lot of stuff done, usually, because I procrastinate. Um, it's funny that the medium that I am posting these videos on is the one thing that keeps me from doing what I should be doing. With this being kind of like the first real episode after the the last uh, introduction vlog, I wanted to start talking about actual subjects. Not like my first one. I feel like the first video where I talked about motivation didn't work out very well. Instead, I want to talk about the different things that make up my life. And procrastination is one of those. Um, I think it makes up everybody's life to some extent. Why do it now when you can procrastinate and then stress out about it later? Uh, and, and as much as I try to make sure that my life isn't like that, I, I fall into the trap too. I should have written this entire episode out last night, but I didn't. I procrastinated on Facebook. So I'm using this episode to kind of tell my feelings on procrastination and how I try to avoid it, how I inevitably fail at avoiding it, but how every once in a while I'm actually okay with it. But how every once in a while I do actually follow my own rules and get things done, get shit done. I think it's super important. So today, it's spring. My sinuses are on fire, the pollen is in the air, and things are blooming. And that means spring cleaning. It's my favorite time of year. I don't like the cleaning part, but I love the planting part. So come with me as I clean my entire house. I'm not actually gonna show you how dirty my house is because it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, we're busy people, we have a lot to do. We're not here a lot. I own a video business, I work full time. My girlfriend's a photographer and she works full time. So sometimes things get messy. Uh, but let's talk about procrastination and how it affects people and how it affects your life and how it bleeds down into everything that you do. It'll be fun. <sighs> Procrastination is an interesting thing. It's your mind's way of telling you, I don't want to do it right now, let's put it off. Or, no, you don't want to do that right now. Why would you spend the time doing that right now? Uh, procrastination is defined by the dictionary. The action of delaying or postponing something. So when I think about procrastination, even though, yes, it does affect me, and no, I'm not going to say I'm some perfect person who never procrastinates anything because here I am making a vlog about cleaning my house because... But the thing is, is the ability to recognize when you are starting to get into this procrastination mindset. The idea that you want to push that project off, push going to the gym off, push anything off. Um, that's when you have to get better at thinking, wait a minute, why am I doing this? Why am I saying I need to put this off? I know I need to lose weight. I know I need to clean that room. I know I need to do my, my work, my homework, whatever it is. But it comes to a point when your brain is telling you that you need to push this off or hey, we can do this a little bit later. Why, not we do, why don't we do this tomorrow and watch TV all night? It's when you recognize that your brain is doing that and you can say, no, I need to do this now. That's when you beat procrastination. That's when you get past it. Because there's no way to eliminate it completely. It's just not possible. But if you can recognize when you're about to procrastinate and you can push through, you're gonna get a lot of things done. And that's one of the things I try to do. When I'm about to sit down, bring up the phone, you know, browse Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, it's always important for me to sit there and be, you know, sit there and think, do I have something better I can be doing? Hiding your procrastination tools is gonna to be the number one way to get yourself off your ass and doing things. It's what I did when I started going to the gym. It's what I did when I started my company. And a lot of people don't realize it now. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but 
our biggest procrastination tool is this guy. And procrastination is one of those things that it doesn't just stay in one aspect of your life. There's a famous quote by Bruce Lee. Um, I have it pinned up at my desk at work and I should have it pinned up here, but I don't. Uh, it's one of my favorites, but I apologize. I'm just going to read this because I can't. Yeah. If you always put limits on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits, there are only plateaus, and you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Procrastination is a plateau. Success is not a straight line. There are always dips, valleys, things like that that get in the way. Don't let procrastination be one of those things. I think that's what's the most that's what the most important thing about this topic for me is, is, is why are you letting it get in the way of your life? So I'm going to go over a couple of different ways that I f try to get past procrastination. Um, they don't always work, but some, most of the time they do work for me. Uh, I've got to go do some more cleaning, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Procrastination tip number one. When you feel like procrastinating, it's a good time to sit down and take a look at what you're dealing with. What is it that's keeping you or making you not want to do what it is you want to do? So this one will fall along the lines of if you're dealing with a situation where you got to get something done, but the thing getting in the way is you being organized. Now, organization in its own can be something that we all procrastinate. I know I procrastinate a lot, and I try to make sure that every Sunday I spend a good amount of time sitting down and working on getting reorganized, uh, inventorying, making sure I have all my gear set up and ready for the week. But the, my first tip is get organized. Because when you're organized, you're more than likely going to follow through with your plans and finish what you've got to do. Tip number three, start getting better at recognizing when you're about to start procrastinating. You may not realize it because it's an involuntary thing. It, it, it doesn't really, it's not something that you consciously decide to do most of the time. But it's something that you can start learning how to recognize when you're about to procrastinate, when you're about to start to procrastinate, and then start developing some tools that help you either get past that, you know, tell yourself, is this something I need to do now? Is this, is this something that putting this off is going to stress me out later? Because in the end, procrastination is just going to cause more stress for you. It causes a lot of stress for me. But it comes down to it, when you finally get to the point where you recognize that you're about to start procrastinating, that you're about to start doing something that you probably shouldn't be doing just because you need to get that project done or you need to get the you know your video complete, whatever it is, you'll get to a, a, a higher level. And that's something I try to practice in my daily life. And yeah, I'm not there yet. But the, again, these are tips that I like to try to follow. That I like to try to inject into my life. And hopefully you find them helpful as well. Uh, these may be things that people already know how to do. And I'm just talking. But I'm hoping at some point, at least somebody will see this and be like, Okay, cool. So that's what I need to do. Establish a plan. That's the basis of all of this. Establish a plan for dealing with procrastination. Rule number three that I like to follow is get rid of the distractions. You know, everything in life, let's just, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Everything in life is a distraction. It's plain and simple. Whoa, that's bright. But, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. Don't worry. Oh no. Yeah. Everything in life is a distraction. Plain and simple. Everything around you from your pets to your cell phone to your computer, whatever it is, it's a distraction. And when it comes to procrastination, Limiting those distractions is what's going to help get you further along on your goals. Uh, and that doesn't mean that you have to take your cell phone and toss it out a window. It just means put it, 
put it in a separate room. You know, turn it off. Uh, if that temptation is too much for you, then yeah, put it in a separate room. But find a way to remove the distractions from your life and you'll find that getting things done is a lot easier. One of my biggest problems has always been finding things to do on my phone when I should be doing something else, but I, I want to find a new game, I want to find a new article to read, whatever it is. And uh, that's always been a big problem of mine because it's me looking for that extra piece of, is that out of focus? Uh -huh. It's always been me looking for that extra piece of, like, instant gratification. You know, we all want to be instantly satisfied. Uh, whether that is with a video game, with an article, with social media, whatever it is. You want that instant satisfaction. And it's something that, it's, it's going to be really hard to get over, but it's something you've got to get over. I've been working really hard to get over the, the whole idea of instant satisfaction because it's, it's rampant in our world today. You know, everything's immediate, everything's now, everything's live. So eliminating those distractions is what's gonna help you go on. And it's what's helping me. I removed most of the games from my phone. I try my best to stick to using my phone for business purposes, you know, whether it's managing my calendar for the day, my email, whatever it is. Uh, I try to make sure that I minimize the amount of wasted time that I have. And with less wasted time, you have a lot more, you have a lot more opportunity. And with opportunity comes great things. You have more time to work on what you love. You have more time to do what you want to do. And you'll find that accomplishing your goals is a hell of a lot easier. So like this behind me, all that is a sprinkler system that I have been wanting to install for some four years now. But I was procrastinated thinking, oh no, I'll work on the bed, I'll do the easy part first, I'll do this part first, I don't need to do that today. No, 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 no. Once I stopped procrastinating about the idea that I wanted to have a lawn in my backyard and that I wanted to be able to enjoy my backyard, which is still currently dirt, I was able to take that opportunity and grow with it. And I now have a sprinkler system. I'm bragging about that because it took three days to install and help from one of my good friends, but we got it done. So that's just an example that I have of eliminating procrastination. You know, removing procrastination from your life is one of the best things you can do. It's one of the best things that I tend to do because like I said it's not you're not perfect we won't be perfect no one's gonna be perfect at this but it's all about the small steps really with this episode what I wanted to talk about is the idea that by looking at your life and examining the fact that we all procrastinate we all do things that we don't necessarily think we should be doing or we all skip the important stuff. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you've screwed up your goals. It doesn't mean that you're gonna miss your goals. It just means that you need to work on some of the little things first. And by working on the little things, you start to realize that the more little things that you finish, the more little things that you get rid of, the closer you get to your big goal. So for me, my yard, it was the digging the trench and doing the research and buying the stuff and fertilizing the yard and, and buying the seed. All these little steps that I worked my way up to my full goal. And if I had continued on my same path that I have the past couple of years, it would have been the same thing. I would have procrastinated the entire summer away and I'd have no lawn. Which I guess brings me to step four or rule four which is look at the big picture picture in your mind what it is your end goal is because without clear 
sight to what your end goal is, you're not gonna have a place to start. You're not gonna say, yeah, I wanna build that awesome grass lawn or I wanna start a business or maybe you wanna make movies like us. Whatever it is, think of the big picture. I'm always thinking of the big picture. I'm always thinking it's gonna happen someday. I know what I wanna be doing. I know what I want my company to look like. I know what I want everything to be like. You just gotta keep picturing it and keep chipping away at it. And don't let procrastination get in the way. It's fairly simple, right? Let's go back inside. So that's it. That's all I have for this one. Um, I'm hoping you guys like this setup. I, it looks a little blue, it looks a little off color, but I think I'll, uh, I'll play with it and see where it goes. I'm still, lighting's one of those things that I'm not the best at. It's, it's one of the many things that I have procrastinated and thought, yeah, I'll learn it later. But it's becoming very clear that I need to learn it now because I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's how this whole vlog is. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing it and seeing how things turn out. Uh, I hope you guys are liking it so far. But I hope to cover more topics like this that are topics that I like to talk about. Things are gonna start changing a little bit more, uh, especially with the, the YouTube channel. I'm gonna be uploading more. Uh, yeah, more. It's already hard enough doing one. And I've decided to do more. So that's cool. But I'm excited to see where it goes. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.